Want to help support Juno Cigars? Two great ways to do it, smokeagoinshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Jonas Cigar is back for another review as we move right along in the month of March. We have got a special collector's edition cigar that we are going to be smoking from J.C. Newman. This is the Leroy Neiman by J.C. Newman. This is a 6x52 Toro, paying homage to the late artist Leroy Neiman, the eponymous named artist. Uh, this is a 6x52 Toro featuring Nicaraguan and American long fillers with a Florida sun-grown binder and an Ecuadorian Habano Rosado wrapper, which you can't see a whole lot because we've got this really cool band that covers the majority of the cigar that is uh, fashioned after one of Leroy Neiman's paintings that he did, uh, which has got like an Irish bar motif. I'll do a close-up of this later on after I get this thing unbound all the way and without damaging it. Looking at the cigar, very nice looking stick. Uh, like the Rosado wrapper on the outside. It's got a nice, even coloring, tight, tight seams, nice, even, medium, firm pack, minimal veins, very tidy looking double cap on the top, pre light aromas. Getting some light graham cracker and earth. There's some funky mushroom coming off of this body. Natural tobacco and prune off of the foot. These are rolled at the El Rolo factory in Tampa, Florida, which I have visited. Very cool place. Let's go ahead and get this one cut. Check out the cold draw. Cold draw does have a nice feeling resistance. We've got notes of Fig Newton and prune. I'm gonna go ahead and give the foot a humidity test here. Let's see what we're looking at as far as the humidity on the cigar. And it looks like we're sitting right at, oh, 60. Okay, that's pretty good. Go ahead and start toasting. See what we can find out. Off the first few puffs. Very good draw, great smoke output. Billows of nice, soft, velvety feeling smoke. Medium body, like you said, kind of a velvety mouthfeel. Very pleasant. Getting notes of some shortbread. Kind of reminds me of Fig Newton cookies a little bit there too. Retrohale, very smooth, nutty, got some cedar in there, some cream, little bits of allspice coming through on that retrohale too. Very nice, pleasant, soft, and I don't want to say delicate because they're not really delicate, but they are nicely balanced. And the flavors are definitely softer. They're not particularly bold, but very pleasant tasting flavors at this point. And the balance is very good. All right. Good start. We'll let this go until we get a little further into the first third. I'll see you then. All right, 10 minutes in, well into the first third. Good looking burn line. Nice rib dash. Draw smoke output still very good. Still medium body. Starting to get flavors of graham cracker, almond. We are getting more cream, cedar and allspice with an introduction of kind of an amaretto sweetness there on the draw. Very nice blend of flavors. It's got a little bit of fruity tartness coming there at the end on the finish and on the ret excuse me, on the retro hill right now. Starting to get kind of a tart cherry note coming through on that retro more allspice and other baking spices that I can't quite put my finger on it at this point. And there's some nice cedar coming through on that retro. Was able to find out a little bit about this cigar. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but all the proceeds go to help uh, support the arts and arts education 
through the Leroy Neiman and Janet Byrne Neiman Foundation. And uh, you can find all that on the back of this band. They got this little cute QR code on the back. And yeah, here's that close up. This is the Irish American bar painting painted circa 1978 by Leroy Neiman. Very cool little band here like that. Not really a little band, it's a big band, but it's a miniature of a piece of work that he did. Kind of neat. All right, we'll let this go until I get about halfway through the cigar. I'll see you then. All right, 35 minutes in, just about at the halfway point. Nice looking burn line still, I've only ashed it once. Draw and smoke output still very much on point. Flavors, we're starting to get some new introductions of stuff. First of all, Amaretto Cream is really starting to become the driving flavor, which is just fantastic. Also accompanied by a salty almond slash buttery cashew note. That's really, really good. There's some floral sweetness coming through, some sweet lemon zest or lemon citrus citrus coming through. Also getting some cloves, mixing in with that allspice on the retrohale. Hmm. Wow. That's interesting. We're getting toasted almond. Little bits of some chocolate notes coming in there, almost like cocoa nibs. But it's kind of creamy. There's some bitter walnut coming through and more florals and light touches of baking spice. There's a lot going on here. Pretty complex cigar. And the balance is very good. This is definitely a cigar that makes me stop every couple puffs and just go, hmm. Now that's interesting. I haven't had that too many times in my life before. That particular blend, kind of neat. Liking this one quite a bit. It's pretty good. We're gonna let this go until I get towards the end of the cigar. I'll see you then. Mmm. Oh, ash just fell for the third time. <laughs> right in front of me on the table. Hour and 15 minutes in. Really good burn line. Ash was nice looking too, but it fell. <laughs> Flavors, man, that cocoa is kind of malty, sweet, creamy, nutty. It's got some cedar notes tagging along there too. Baking spice has kind of come down. Not really there so much anymore. Cashew is building. Nice and buttery. Amaretto sweetness is still kind of lingering in there in the background. Florals are still there. Nice amount of layering on this cigar. The cigar just kept getting better the further and further it went in. And man, even here in the back third, this is tasting very, very good. On the retrohale right now. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Nice, sweet almond, creamy caramel and chocolate. Wow, that is good. Some white pepper and citrus zest. Wow. Man, this is a pretty good cigar by J.C. Newman. Not that I'm surprised. I've had a lot of good experiences with J.C. Newman in the past, and this is no exception. Really like this project that they're doing. It's cool that they're doing all of this uh, profits going to benefit the Arts Foundation. And they were three different bands on this cigar. We had this main one that features the artwork from Leroy Neiman, the Irish American bar. Then we had the second one that just said, well, this is actually the first one towards the top. This is the one that just had the Leroy Neiman signature on the, on the front and on the back. We had the JC Newman, Leroy Neiman inscribed on the back. And on this one, we had the collector's edition, had more of the painting and the JC Newman El Rolo logo. And then on the back, it's got a quote from Leroy Neiman, which says, I'm a believer in the theory that an, the artist is as important as his work. Sure, I believe that too. Really like this cigar. Very impressive. Great flavor. Construction was super on point. Really good draw. Great smoke output. Great texture. And not a lot to complain about this cigar at all. Really, there was a lot going for this cigar that was all good. And I'm glad I got another one because, uh, yeah. I really enjoy this one a lot. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Click that icon bottom right corner if you are watching on YouTube. If you happen to be watching on Rumble, just look for the subscribe button towards the top right of the screen. Please don't forget to follow Trina Cigars on Instagram. And please don't forget to follow my content, which I put out regularly on Cigar Public. 
you like this review, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment because that always helps the algorithm. If you didn't like something, feel free to give me a thumbs down, but don't forget to leave a comment anyway so I can know what you're talking about when you are complaining about the quality of this review. If you didn't like something, just let me know what it was. See you guys in the next one. Until then, smoke a good one.